People never tire of talking about interest rates, and for good reason. This influential percentage sets how much interest you will earn or pay, with even a small shift up or down potentially making a significant difference to you as a borrower or a saver. Whether you read about the latest interest rate movements in the news, or from your own finance provider, you've likely noticed interest rates on your home loan or savings account go up or down over time. Lately, many lenders outside of the big four have increased home loan rates due to funding pressures. We're also seeing the odd lender buck the trend and lower rates to try and keep customers flocking elsewhere and bring in new business. So with rate movements all around us, we thought this was a good time to answer the question, what makes interest rates rise and fall? First of all, let's take a step back and look at what interest is. Put simply, interest is the cost of borrowing money, the fee that lenders charge us as a borrower. Like the price of goods, supply and demand affects this fee. If the consumer demand for credit is lower than supply, then rates typically fall. If demand is higher, then rates rise. Lower rates often encourage people and businesses to spend money, stimulating the economy in the process. Higher rates tend to have the opposite effect. They put the brakes on spending. And this is where the central bank comes in. The Reserve Bank of Australia is responsible for monetary policy and sets the official cash rate target each month. The cash rate is the rate that banks charge when they lend and borrow funds from each other overnight. The RBA transacts in domestic money markets, changing the supply of money so that the target is met. The cash rate has been sitting at an all-time low of 1.5% since August 2016. The Reserve Bank has said it is keeping the rate steady for two main reasons. The first is that household incomes are growing more slowly than they'd like and debt levels in their eyes are too high. Two, it believes the cost of living, judged by the price of goods and services, is rising at a lower than ideal rate. While the cash rate is steady, you may have noticed interest rates on some home loans are rising. Now while we're on the topic, it's important to know that the RBA does not set your interest rate, your lender does. Understanding how the banks get access to the money they lend customers will help you understand why some are choosing to lift rates in the current climate. There are three main ways that banks access these funds. The first is from mum and dad's saving deposits. The second is capital, such as shares that pension and superannuation funds buy in the banks. And the third is from the wholesale funding market, which represents funds that come from larger entities, such as government bonds or foreign-owned banks. We're talking the big money here. In the past few years, home loan rates have been relatively low. So too has the cost of wholesale funding for Australian banks. But the cost of borrowing from the wholesale market is rising, putting pressure on the banks. This is partly why some lenders are starting to lift interest rates. CanStar is also seeing banks start to lift interest rates on term deposit accounts to attract more savers as they strive to offset the wholesale funding costs. Whilst this is good for savers, it also puts more pressure on the banks to lift home loan rates. Now, what could these rate movements mean for you? As a saver, it's a good time to build up extra savings and think about taking advantage of higher interest rates. As a borrower, it's a good time to check whether you're getting a competitive rate on your home loan. A good place to start is to check to see if your current rate starts with a three. We can help with that. You may also want to think about whether a fixed rate is right for you, in case we continue to see rates rise. So, by bringing all the pieces together, we can show both why interest rates move and what this may mean for millions of Australian borrowers and savers.